Hello, Planet Minecraft, Internet, and uh, YouTube, etc. Um, today I'm going to show you a quite awesome 4 bit ALU uh, in Minecraft, which is essentially a computer. Basically, it's a it's a basic computer. It can do basic math and stuff, but it's not it's not going to play Minecraft, Skyrim, Crisis. Paint what well, it could do if I spent more time on it, but anyway. Um, but anyway, this is it. I ignore that, that, and that. That's just me messing around. It's here. Now I'd like to say this is not my original creation. I don't know how to how to do this at all. Uh, to make this, I followed a very, very, very awesome tutorial by let me get his name right, Benny's Cube. Uh, channel here. Find this link, find this guy, he's awesome. He has made an amazing, amazing tutorial series on basically making a Minecraft computer and every now and then making explanation videos about the different parts. So I think in this one, what's this? In this one he explains some of the parts and gives a really good, I have now forgotten the word, because with A not metaphors, uh, like a different way of thinking what it is, uh, like for example the buses on the computer which are basically these lines which carry all the data are like a analogy, I think that might be, uh, an ana analogy for buses, uh, registers which is these, this yellow bit here is uh, a taxi, uh, the program memory here uh, is the boss. Uh, I can't. I, can't I, th I don't think I'm getting this right. Go and watch the explanation video. He explains this far more better than me. But if you are looking for a tutorial on how to make something like this, uh, go to his channel. Links are in the description. There's an annotation. Blah blah blah. Please do it because it's just awesome. He has helped me out so much with this. I, 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 I scoured the internet looking for tutorials. Couldn't find any. Found his, and I was my mind was blown. I mean, like, I made I made some quite catastrophic errors by f uh, forgetting the tortured uh, redstone in the middle of all of these except for one. And uh, he pointed that out to me because I sent him the file and I fixed it and it worked. So I was like, yay. Um, so yes, he has been very helpful in explaining and fixing it all. I was having massive problems with this. Um, not because this tutorial was hard to explain, it's just that I'm doing it on a different... I'm doing it on a flat map, uh, and the new type of world you can play on Minecraft, and it's only... you can only go this far, so it's one, two, three blocks. You can't go down anymore. He had built more underground, so he built it into the floor, uh, so it would go all the way down here, and yeah, I couldn't do that, so I've had to put some decoders, which basically turn binary inputs into, <coughs> excuse me, uh, four out different outputs, so for example, you have two inputs, they will turn into four outputs. Rather clever, I, n I never thought that were possible. Um, that's a control wire, by the way, just turning it on and off. Uh, so yeah, I've had to put these above ground, but other than that, it's sort of similar to his. All of this wiring on top is obviously much messier than his. Um, this is a, a trial run, uh, basically. Once I've managed to figure out how to make a computer, I'm going to try and make um, bigger, faster things, hopefully. Um, he's, he says he's going to cover a, a video on how to do this. So, if any of you who are watching his tutorials haven't seen, haven't have watched the last one, you'll notice that these are new. He told me to add these, they're debugging, they, they are debugging things. I am talking way too fast, I'm sorry. Anyway, I'll show you how it works, or try and try to explain along the way. If, if you don't get any of this, uh, go to, go and maybe ask him, like send him a comment, or just watch the videos and... Ah, oh, frozen, there we go, okay. So what we have here are user inputs, so the user can put input a number. So let's go for the classic 2 plus 2. There isn't a 
uh, add or minus or, or subtract or subtract button at the moment. Uh, at the moment, it's it's in the program command memory thing, what t telling it what to do. So what we're going to do is add two plus two. So to do that, we turn on the computer. Sorry for any frame rate issues uh, that's happening because my computer sucks. It's really slow at the moment. And doing that, we'll turn on. If that hasn't burned out, yes, the CPU. Well, the the clock. So this will tick round, and with some clever redstone trickery, ooh, the sun is setting. It will make this pulse like that. Now this is obviously really, really slow tick. So operations and figuring out things are going to go really slow. Uh, so yeah, it has to be on if you want to do things. So then we do this button. I'm going to sleep before this, just to brighten your day. Uh, I have the specs here as well. Um, this is the program button, which will start the program, which is stored in this thing, which has, if I can find the specs, where are they? There, uh, it has 44 bytes of memory, which is quite cool. Thank you for posting. He posted. He sent me the specs as well, which is quite nice of him. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So you program the command, the program, into the program memory, and it will go one, two, three, it, it will cycle them, uh, so basically do one operation at a time, so it doesn't all try and do everything at the same time. So when I start this, this will turn on, and I'll explain what happens. So that basically means it's doing something. That turning off means, the torches turning off means they are, re it, it's reading the input from that use input and if it sh and if it worked aha it worked 4 2 plus 2 is 4 i'll just do that again for you just so you can see it a bit wide angle start the program again you can see that turns on that was quick wow so there we go that may have been because it didn't reset okay there we go Give it a second. Okay, let's turn it back on. It reads from in input one. Reads from input two. Adds them together. What does it get? Four. It does like to flash two. I'm not sure why. Maybe bit, uh, something to do with RAM, ROM, etc. So let's add. I'm not the best with binary, so I'm thinking this is three, three, whatever. Uh, so let's see. Oh yeah, never got an idea to change the things while the program's running. Learned from the master himself, Benny. That's your name. So let's see what we get. I'm not. I'm not the best with reading binary. I know the absolute basics. So it'll probably flash. Yep. That's a f five. It oh, it. Yeah, I think I'm just being really dumb. I think you just got to add these two numbers to find the binary number. So 4 plus 1 is 5, obviously. Uh, 2 plus 1, 3. 2 plus 3, 5. Let's see what... No, if we add them all together, we'll just get the same number. So let's do 10 plus 3. Let's see what happens. I, I, didn't forgot, I forgot to turn off the program. Sorry if the sound sounding a bit weird. I'm having to record it off computer. I'm going to have to sync this up later. That's what I get for having a microphone that doesn't work or a computer that doesn't like to... And what do we get? 8 plus 4. Hang on, hang on. Maths. Okay, 9 plus... What? 8 plus 1 is 9. 13. 2 plus 1. 3. Aha, it worked! Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, I feel chuffed now. So, we can now turn the computer off. Uh, so, what do we have here? We have... Let's let's go through the route the input goes. <coughs> Sorry if this video is dragging, I just want to show it off. I just want to show off what this thing can do. So, we have... The inputs are here. What this does... 
on the first command, it basically tells the computer to read what's in input 1 and send it all the way, all the way, across these yellow lines down at the bottom, to the registers. This basically registers the information to the ALU. Benny, I'm sorry if I'm getting any of this wrong. I'm, I'm not too good at explaining things, text or video. You, know. uh, yeah. So then, it, yes, it uh, writes it to there. So the first number is in, which is a, a I think that was the two and then one or something. And then when it goes on to the next operation, it will send the second input all the way down to the LU here. Then on the third operation, it will tell it to add the two numbers which it's been given, send them to this bus here. I like the name is bus. Uh, send them to the RAM, which I believe is, yes, this bit here. And then that will send it to this part, which will then send it to the expansion slot, which are basically outputs. Uh, they will show what the AOU has calculated, or any other thing your computer does. So I could I could sync this sync. I could hook this up to a binary decoder or encoder. I'm confused massively by them. Hook it up to a binary encoder slash decoder, and then hook that up to a say seven segment display. So then any of you who are binary illiterate could understand it or not too good with maths. So, yes. These are exactly the same. Uh, they just send them to different, different outputs. So then it goes up here, goes to the display, boom, gives you your answer. Yeah. Marvellous. Now, I was getting a bit confused here with the ROM. Uh, I should ask Benny about that sometime. Uh, but yeah. Mm. A few, a few random creations. That's a two-bit binary uh, in decoder. So that's for two bits. Um, this is four, I believe. I'm not sure. If, I'm not sure if just one of one of one of. I I don't know. I think the whole thing might be a four-bit binary thing, or it's just one or four. Rose, I'm not entirely sure. I think Be Benny would know. <coughs> oh, my voice sounds all funny. So yeah, I am very pleased with this creation. It's very complicated, and I like it. Um, uh, let me spec you. I'll put these specs in the description, but I'll just say them anyway. It is a four-bit computer, ALU. It has a clock speed of um, 385 millihertz, or zero point. 385 hertz. Now I think your computer has like on average a 2 gigahertz computer. That's 20,000 hertz? I don't know. Gotta work out on my math then. But a, this is 1.3 hertz. So yeah, not, not the fastest but oh well. Uh, the ALU has two functions, add and subtract. Uh, I didn't show any sub subtracting because yeah, changing the command. It has two bytes of RAM, or 16 bits, and two bytes of ROM, same, 16 bits. It has one byte for the register, um, hello there, and 44 bytes of program memory, which is this lovely bit here. I'm sure you could compress this all down, some Redstone genius could compress this all down to something much smaller. But. I'm not a genius, I'm, I'm, I like making a mess, as you can see from this absolutely shoddy piece of redstoning. I got the inputs the wrong way around, so I had to yep, send it over. Uh, next time I do this, I'm going to make, I'm going to try and colour code it better, because I just used random colours to s uh, just separate things. Uh, next time I just might use certain colour for buses, ALUs, CPUs, RAM, ROM, etc. So yeah, <coughs> oh, getting up to the 15 minute mark here, I believe we have unlimited on this channel, if not I should end it here, so I'm just going to be safe. Thank you for watching, thank you BennyCube for the amazing tutorials, and yeah, check him out. If you're watching Planet Minecraft, give us a diamond, give it a download, check it out, yeah.
computer day. Fun.